Hello, welcome to Iron Dinos. Today we're looking at Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse Valor, which is one of this month's games of gold. So, guys, have we all had a play? Yes. Uh, I wouldn't say I actively enjoyed it, but I did have an urge to keep playing it constantly. Because um, it is very much sort of give it another go, up it, uh, unlock stuff, try out all the weapons. It's very arcadey, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it, it's not long between losing a life and being back in the thick of it, murdering llamas. That was, I did keep sort of saying, oh, one more go. And then I'd instantly press reload again and start playing again. So, it's, it's not a terrible game by any means. I enjoyed the music. I enjoyed running away from llamas and shooting them all. And I enjoyed seeing what all the weapons did. And instantly going, I don't like that weapon, but I do like that weapon. And I'm very pleased to have that, <laughs> whatever it was, machine gun or... <laughs> Aerial attack thing. It was all pretty good. I really like the ice cannon. Did you get the to see the ice cannon? I did. That wasn't yeah. one of my favourites. That was good. And I also got a hose. Yeah. Um, yes. Literally just a, a hose, which I found really handy at um, manipulating hordes of llamas. Yeah. Yeah, I got my favourite combo it. was the machine gun and the. Uh, I was 50-50 on this game uh, when I saw it uh, as a game of gold and I was like, oh, I'm not too sure how it's going to play, but I have to say, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I, could, I, I couldn't stop playing it um, and I loved the whole, uh, when you get into a new area, there's a challenge. So like destroy yeah, yeah. so yes. many mailboxes or dumpsters. Yep. And the ghost of the enemy just absolutely loved that. <laughs> I just, I just, yeah. And um, the, uh, the, the, uh, like, I just played it on casual. So, but even on casual, the amount of llamas to shoot, uh, it, it was great. It was great fun. Um, I really enjoyed the graphics. The, the music was great. And it yeah. just kept me engaged. And I think I got all the way up to, I think it was. Uh, level eight or Get your weapons at the ready. There's another pack inbound. Nice. Cool, cool. Uh, one of you're, you're saying about uh, you're just saying about being swarmed. Yeah. One of my favourite things in the game is the jump. Oh, I love that power <laughs> slam. Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> that I couldn't so quite good. figure out how to. I'm assuming those little purple bits you pick up off the ground um, recharge that because it seemed to stop yes. working after a little while. Um, yeah, you got a you got a bar on the left uh, that uh, will go down every time you press one of your specials, and then as you kill more llamas, they'll drop these like little energy bar things, and if you collect those, um, that'll be the refill. I, I give you a little a little view behind the scenes here of our professionalism. Um, I had the Iron Dino banner over all of that, forgot to move it, um, so <laughs> I couldn't see any of those bars or things, so I didn't know what Oh my doing. god. <laughs> <laughs> Will not be on the final video, but that's how I played it. That's an extra level, level of difficulty you can incorporate if you choose to go that method. <laughs> <laughs> you go casual, um, hard, dinos. <laughs> or block out all of your hard. <laughs> The one I'd... thing I would have liked to have seen in it that I didn't experience, mm -hmm. so I don't know if it is a bit uh, but I, I wanted a way to pick up health. Like, not an easy way, just like a, a really challenging way, but at least uh, some sort of way you pick up What were those little no floaty things that, that you pick up? To regenerate I thought that's what health. we were doing. No, that what well, that's for your special. Ah, oh, the energy stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, the um, the the other the other special, the um, the burn forward for a short distance, annihilate everything. That was also incredibly satisfying. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that that got you out of a lot of troubling spots actually. Yeah. That was quite good. Because even though the jump was really good at like dispersing a lot of the enemy when they surround you you're still faced with the same situation of trying to get through the massive horde yeah. to a bit of space. It's Whereas that B, like that B button, like that, that just like crashes through them and gets you into a new with, space and area. With the, with the jump, I liked um, 
getting surrounded and getting between a few cars so when you land you then move away and they all go off as well and it's like yeah. just, so it just wipes out a huge wave of them that is good but i did kill myself doing that once <laughs> the car right, the car right next to me went off i was like oh I've just lost all of my perks that I've unlocked. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I do like the fact it saves your progress, though. Like, so when you restart the game, your your, your bot has already upgraded. You've lost the perks, obviously, but Dare you, to take yeah, on another challenge. still got all your upgraded bits. Uh, so I did like that. You're not starting completely another challenge fresh. Done and done yeah, I did like that. What do you think of the sense of humour of it? I was a bit I... let down at the beginning. Because it was a bit more, I'm not going to say silly, but a bit more like <laughs> Saturday morning um, Trevor and Simon style humour with the um, Illuminati wow. thing. Wow, Jason. Yeah. yeah. Jason. <laughs> Trevor and Simon. Who is going to get that reference? People know. <laughs> if you know Trevor and Simon, what leave it in the I comments did. now. I Classic I Idol. I got Adam got it. You got it. I got it. <laughs> People get it. If you don't get it, I, look them up. I, Comedy Gods. <laughs> You think you like Dick and Dom? Or even they're in the past now. <laughs> Whoever the kids is looking Very much in the past. Yeah, but... Wow. Well, there's always a new generation. Perhaps you could help get it back to me. There is. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard good things about this um, Andy Gray guy. I think he's an up-and-comer. <laughs> I found the comedy... Speaking of that, I found the comedy very try-hard. Yes. Um, and I, I laugh because it's so bad. Um. <laughs> that's 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 what I was going to say. The um, I, I'm not going to lie. Laminati did make me fucking laugh, but <laughs> the whole llamas on, we're building a wall. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it didn't. It wasn't funny to me. It it was um. Like you say, try hard. I, I'm like low hanging fruit. It's but it's it's fine. They, they're just trying to cram the word llama in there as much as possible. Oh, yeah, that I'm fine with. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it, the, the actual... it did add to the game. Um, so yeah, it's not, it's not a On the actual gameplay itself, as I've not chimed in. Um, I liked how fluid it is it was fast and a lot of these games um die on the hill of being slow yeah yeah like so you always feel like you've not got quite enough time to get away from the hall whereas that never seemed to be a real problem here it seemed to be more of focused on we don't want you feeling stressed and swamped by things. We want you to enjoy just murdering wave after wave of llamas. So yeah. they gave us speed and they give us, like, r pretty much right off the bat, they give you big, over-the-top comic, uh, more comedic weapons to wipe out as much as possible. And so the actual core gameplay loop was, was I found, pretty fun. It's not, um, it's not a kind of game that I'm going to spend a lot of time with, but... I've got to be honest, before I delete it off my hard drive, I'm probably going to play another couple of hours of it, just for the fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, one issue, a sort of small issue I did have. Uh, oh, here is... comes the axe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, this was no, no, going no, no. way too no, positively. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, so, you know when, uh, so you get, as you start killing the enemies, you'll get a weapon drop. Yeah. Um, yeah. When the rip and drop happens, I didn't find a way of um, actually finding out what that weapon was, other than to recognise, start recognising and remembering the symbols. Oh no! If, if you go over it without pushing uh, the buffer to pick it up, it actually comes up with a description. It does. Oh, fantastic! Oh, yeah, so, I remember so seeing yeah. like, like three. However, that. however, that that does bring up to a thing. Admit a couple of times it did say they dropped a we weapon, and I couldn't find Check it. Like at one point, it told me it dropped a flamethrower, and I looked <laughs> everywhere, and I just could not find it. Oh. I don't know if they disappear that. after a while. Yeah, d d you know me. I was very excited for the flamethrower. I was running about <laughs> looking for that thing and I could not find it. 
once I had the uh, so I had the ice gun that you was talking about and the flamethrower yeah. on the other hand. So oh. I was like, oh, this is great. I love this. Beautiful. <laughs> love it. So, time to bring up the elephant yourself. in the room. Here's another oh. challenge. <laughs> Why is this not online multiplayer? Oh my god. Yeah. This would have been so much fun to play with friends. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We can't sit in a room and play together. Um, but my god, this would be fun with the three of us sat down playing, you know, all in one crazy room full of llamas and, and going mental and you know, us trying to pull Jason's fat out of the fire constantly. Exactly. It'd be an absolute blast. Right, when I saw the advert for this, the release, I hadn't really heard this before the Games of Gold thing dropped, and I saw the advert and I thought that'd be great for us to uh, have a good old rampage and exactly as you say, make a movie time. Didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame to be on my mark. But then again, this this... This was released back in 2018, so provided this is done well and, and obviously getting the boost of funds for it going against the gold, because I'm assuming the way that works, um, Xbox yeah. pays a smaller developer a, a wage of money to give their game away for free. I assume that's how it works. Maybe it's the other way around. But, you know, hopefully they'll they'll learn from what happened in the... In the they'll, they'll learn from this one definitely need to get some servers up and, and if they release a sequel we'll probably have an even more fun product yeah yeah I'd, I'd, I'd play thing, it yeah I mean that the one thing I would say um, I mean comes it, axe again no no, no, no the black no. clouds descending once more <laughs> I'd like a little bit more variety variety on the yeah uh, on the map um, the it did happen slightly later on, on like level nine. I was on like this lab, which was a really refreshing change. Um, but I think there needs to be a little bit more of that if there was going in. That that is a yeah. That that is a concern I've seen raised a few times. It's the same with the the enemies themselves. Um, there's not an awful yeah. lot of. Uh, variety in the llamas, which I guess they're llamas. There wouldn't be, but <laughs> you know, if you if you're playing a game full of it, I can imagine after a while it does get a little repetitive. Yes, they're not just yeah, llamas. A little, a little bit sad. They're vicious attack llamas. They should have like <laughs> I'm going to quote old stuff again, like Dino Bots. They should have like machine gun things on the side of them and have like a leader <laughs> and have. Whoa, whoa. Uh, chariots. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, like, like muted, mutated ones with Mutant two heads. They're just huge. Yeah. Like one huge, massive, <laughs> biggest llama in the world llama. <laughs> <laughs> Extra spitting capabilities. I don't know. I think there was. I think there is poisonous ones later on. But I do not care for those. I want alpaca Wait, DLC. You're in a mech. What? What is poison gonna do? I don't know. It melts your mech. No How's that going to help? You're not in a mech. Uh, it's a remote controlled mech. It's a Ronald. There's there's exploding ones as well, I believe. Um, I didn't encounter those at that point. Oh. I think they're later on. Well, I have just read that um, under features on the Xbox page, on the Microsoft page for this, hundreds of bad puns is, <laughs> yeah. uh, is actually a feature. <laughs> it says you can turn it off. I'm going to see if I can turn it on higher, because while well, some of the, you know, we've, we've mentioned the humour's not entirely to our taste, if there are more weak puns, <laughs> I'm into it. I had no I'm issue with the puns. into it. Puns are fun. Okay. Well, everyone say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. See you, Lama.